Okay, men, men and boys, everyone of all ages, do women make you nervous? If so, I want to tell you some advice. You, you might be like, what the F do you have? Oh, I have tips and tricks. You got to work out first and foremost. You have to be going to the gym because sometimes that nervousness, that nervous energy isn't having to do with true insecurity or like, you know, that anxiety can be squashed out by just going to the gym and working out. Um, when you get that like energy going or whatever, sometimes you get tired, you get exhausted, right? And so you don't have that time to overthink. You don't have the, like you get all those good brain chemicals and you don't have time to overthink and you don't have time to get nervous or the energy to get nervous because you've already exhausted your energy on a workout, you know? Um, so for me, I get nervous too every once in a while when I'm trying to talk to people that I like, but usually it tends to happen when I'm feeling less confident about myself and um, I'm always feeling confident about myself if I'm going to work out, right? So you're gonna wanna prioritize health and fitness um, and going to the gym to get those like you know extra nerves away and then another thing is like if you're already working out and then you still feel like that um first off if you feel nervous and you go to the gym and then you work out don't like overdo it you know everything in moderation and do everything in a slow and steady wins the race type way and um you know do it in a healthy way right but let's say you already work out you already go to the gym and then you're like what's wrong with me i'm still feeling nervous well you're gonna feel nervous for things that you enjoy or like sometimes, you know? Like, we don't have to make it the default to feel, like, nervous or anxious, but sometimes, like, when you're going after something that is worthwhile, and especially when you're chemically inclined to, like, like a girl or something, you're gonna feel like, oh, you know, like, your heart is racing, um, you might feel a little sweaty, you might feel like you're getting a little bit red or flustered or it's hard to focus, and that is completely fine. You have to normalize the idea that sometimes you're not gonna feel 100%, but you're still gonna go after what you want. Another thing is, don't just put women on a pedestal. Understand that they want you sometimes just as much as you want them, you know? And the women that you're supposed to put on a pedestal are like your mom, your sisters, if you have sisters, the, the, your grandma, like the women in your, you know, family. Prioritize them, you know? Um, we all have character flaws, each and every one of us. Not all people on either gender are good and not all people are bad, you know? You're gonna have some, you know, moments where you completely do well and then other moments where you, you know, completely don't do well, where you're like, oh, dang, I should have said this better or I should have done this, you know, this certain way. And it's all about learning who you are and being able to react to your failure in a way that is that you can neutralize, that you can be like, oh, okay, I'm fine. Um, what's meant for me is for me and whatever is truly meant to be will be meant to be, you know? But that's just my, my uh, surface level tips. This is an intro. You're gonna wanna go consult other videos um, to figure out more about this. But honestly, the toxic masculinity videos and everything, stay away from that. S stay away. That's schemery and shenanigans. Real power is knowing how to use your power on yourself to make yourself a stronger person, not use power on other people. You know what I mean? Make yourself a, a more uh, mentally strong person and a physically strong person and react to your failures less, like with less emphasis. And um, you can always go back to the drawing board and see what did I do wrong? You know, where can I, where can, like what kind of person do I want in my life? Like am I making sure that I'm that person first? and then go back to the drawing board, figure it out. Um, but don't, you gotta have nuance and you cannot have like a toxic mindset when it comes to this. Anyway, talk to you later, Mouse Gang. Be safe and leave a comment down below if you have something to add to the conversation.